I'm going to work problem seven, which is on the practice worksheets for the gas law calculations. And this problem asks us to find the pressure. It gives us the moles of a sample. It gives us a volume and a temperature. So if we solve this by the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, we're solving for pressure. So I'm going to divide my equation both sides by V because I've got to get P all by itself. So I divide by V just to cancel that. So pressure is equal to NRT over V. And we see from the problem that the volume is 5 liters. The N is the moles of a gas, so it's not a bad idea to write that down. N is 2 moles. The volume is 5 liters. And the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. So that's the only value that we have to convert. Mole is the unit that N should be in. The volume is supposed to be in liters. The temperature needs to be in Kelvin. That would be 373. And R is always the same number, 0.0821. And again, that has four units, a liter times an atmosphere per mole per degree Kelvin. So if I go up to this formula and plug these values in, P equals my N is 2 moles, R is 0.0821, and I'm not going to write all those units down for R. Well, I guess I will. Liter atmospheres per mole per degree Kelvin times the temperature, 373 degrees Kelvin, and we're going to divide by the volume. So we're going to divide by V, which is 5 liters. And again, that liter cancels that liter. This mole cancels that mole. That Kelvin cancels that Kelvin. So our pressure is going to be in atmospheres. So if we take 2 and multiply that by 0.0821, times 373 and divide by 5, we're going to get, I think I'm off by 1. Uh, did I write that down right? Oh, this should be 0.2 moles. So I actually am off on the answer by one decimal place. So if I would have called that 0.2, then the answer would be 0.122. So my pressure is 0 0.122 atmospheres. And we can see the correct answer for each one of these problems is written here. So we better read the problem carefully and make sure that we don't make a mistake there. 